Please welcome the candidates for graduation from the School of Professional Studies.
Please welcome the faculty and officers of administration of the School of Professional Studies. Welcome to the School of Professional Studies Class of 2022 Graduation Ceremony. Please be seated. Video. Hola, saludos desde Chile. Hi, from Salt Lake City. Greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, this is Chandler from New York City. Hello, apa kabar semua? It was good, y'all, coming from Dallas. Hello, from Middlebush, New Jersey. If I were asked to describe my time at SPS in one word, it would be challenging. <laughs> Rewarding. I'd have to say supportive. Inspiring. Fantastic. Gosh, I hope this is the hardest question. Liberating. Diverse which was surprising. I was not expecting an Ivy League to be quite this diverse. While well, starting school during the pandemic was very challenging because the format was now remote. I would say that it was invigorating because there were so many different ways in which I learned what I learned. I would say it's cutting edge. I don't think there's anything that could beat the education or the programs at SPS. I'm actually the first in the whole family to get a master's degree. Definitely the first one to get a master's degree in America and from an Ivy League institution. My parents are very proud of me. I am the first person in my family who get a master's and who study abroad and they will support me from day one. I have to tell you, this degree is not just mine. <laughs> it's, it's for everybody. My husband jokes about he needs to get an honorary degree as well. And my wife helped make it possible by sort of taking other things off my plate sometimes. I have such a support system to take care of my kids and my family back home while I'm doing and fulfilling my dreams here in the U.S. You can't do a program like this if you don't have their support. It's been good to have people around me that can keep me grounded. I really love how close or how tightly knit my cohort was. I got to meet friends I never thought I would meet. We're able to learn from each other. And I think that experience is truly life-changing. It made me feel like I had a broader community of people who were committed to this cause and this work. I'm really inspired by my classmates because they're very passionate about fighting social problems. Despite COVID and virtual learning, we've all still managed to become friends and make those connections. We really got to know each other. So when we did meet in person, it was as if we were lifelong friends. I know that some of my closest friends in, in my program 
um, are friends for life. If anything that I've learned, it's that we're all a family. The most valuable lesson that I learned through SPS is don't be afraid to say yes to opportunities. I've really been inspired by the theme of breaking tradition. One of my big takeaways from SPS is that knowledge is a living organism and a living system. Don't be discouraged by failure and rejection. It's been an incredible couple of years with some unusual challenges, but we made it through. It's time to celebrate. This is just the beginning of a bright future. Congratulations to all the graduates. We did it. Amazing, fantastic. We've made it. Thank you to my amazing fellow students. I learned so much from you. Thank you to all of our professors and faculty. Congratulations to everybody, and thank you for, for making it such a wonderful experience. These are exciting times. <laughs> Congratulations. Please welcome the Dean of the School of Professional Studies at Columbia University, Troy Eggers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. On behalf of the trustees and all the faculty, congratulations to the Columbia University School of Professional Studies class of 2022. I am so honored to be here with you all in person in my first graduation officially as your dean. Let us begin with some acknowledgments. Thank you to our university leadership, including the Executive Vice President of Arts and Sciences and Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Amy Hungerford, of course, Provost Mary C. Boyce, President Lee C. Bollinger, and our trustees. And thank you also to our SPS leadership team, especially our executive staff, Senior Vice Dean Steve Cohen, and Associate and Senior Associate Dean Zalon Crawford, Eric Nelson, Sonal Pandey, and Louise Rosen. Our leadership team carried us through the academic year with sound guidance and munificent care. Thank you also to our program directors whose wise counsel and diligent planning steered our academic programs with grace and aplomb. And thank you to our esteemed faculty. We are also here to celebrate your accomplishments and the advancements you have made across a diverse range of fields and industries. And especially today, we celebrate and thank the class of 2022. So thank you also to everyone who has supported our students from the very day they first decided to apply to graduate school. We recognize the families, parents, spouses, partners, friends, and colleagues. Indeed, all of you have helped this class in their journey to earn a master's degree from Columbia University. Our last two graduating classes spent most of their time at Columbia apart. This year, however, we were together. While we were still navigating a rapidly changing society, this class jumped fully into their master's programs and committed themselves to their studies while dreaming of how they would best make a difference in a post-pandemic world. You all put enormous trust in Columbia as you walked into your classrooms each evening and each day. You kept the compact and kept one another safe. You worked really, really hard. As Columbia Lions, you gave new meaning to the word lion-hearted. While you engaged yourselves in a diverse field of subjects, you all grew together as a class. I have no doubt you are graduating today forever changed. There are a handful of traits I have seen manifest in our students in their journey here. Traits that are emblematic of our academic programs and our values at SPS. As new graduates of SPS, you are influential, you are innovative, you are collaborative, and you pursue excellence at every level. I would venture that you evince these traits in your daily lives and in your work as I have seen you come together and grow and evolve as school citizens. Our graduates are indeed influential. Thanks to our programs at SPS, 
Columbia has significantly increased its influence on the diverse fields in which our school practices. This year, two new programs are participating in our graduation ceremony for the very first time. Congratulations to the inaugural cohorts of our Master of Professional Studies in Insurance Management and our Master of Professional Studies in Wealth Management. You are the very first representatives of your programs in these two important fields. Our programs work to extend their influence by establish fel establishing fellowships and funds to make way for students who might not otherwise have the opportunity to pursue these degrees. Our wealth management students, taking matters into their own hands, created the Advancing Diversity Fellowship and rallied all their fellow classmates to contribute. All did. The Columbia HBCU Fellowship Program is celebrating its fifth graduating class today. The program was the first of its kind at the university and creates a pipeline of world-class talent for the best employers across the globe. This year's class of fellows launched the Black Student Guild, a space for all black students at SPS to come together in fellowship and benefit from a variety of tailored programming, network, and mentorship opportunities. This spring, we welcomed our first Associate Dean of Alumni Development, Sonal Pandey, who has jumped right into her role, developing more access initiatives and scholarship opportunities destined to be as popular as our HBCU fellowship. Our graduates are innovative. You are the type of students who look to defy the status quo and bring ideas to reality. Your classwork and capstones engaged executives at Fortune 500 companies and inspired them to try new methods and strategies. You join classmates from all over the world who are balancing careers and families and schoolwork because you know that you must engage with the world to change the world. So many of our students are entrepreneurs that 46 teams participated in this year's Greater Good Challenge our career design labs competition asking for the most innovative product pitches that improve the social, economic, political, technological, and environmental conditions of humankind, our societies, and the planet. Our graduates are collaborative. Graduates of our master's programs have spent the last year or two working in deep collaboration with their peers. Teamwork is woven into our curricula and is one of the most valuable skills to have in any marketplace. Our school-wide mentorship program is emblematic of the collaborative spirit of SPS. Students alumni from all backgrounds interviewed one another to find the best fit, and over 100 mentor-mentee partners worked together throughout the year for mutual benefit. Our graduates pursue excellence at every level. The SPS student government, including President Adam Gerber, Vice President Caitlin Lasher, and Student Senator, Senator Adam Grant, connects our students with our administration so that we can clear the way to meet diverse needs and goals of our students during their time at Columbia. Thank you also to our student affairs staff who supports our student government, allows them to shine and create excellence at SPS. You might feel as if your time at Columbia has gone by in the blink of an eye, but you are now Columbia alumni for life. My challenge for you to consider is, how will you as graduates of Columbia take what you have learned and change the world for the better? To the class of 2022, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dean Eggers, for your inspiring words, and good morning, everyone. I said good morning, everyone. <laughs> My name is Alon Crawford, and I am a very proud alumna of Columbia University Teachers College and Senior Associate Dean of Student Affairs. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this morning's speaker, Len Elmore. Len Elmore 
is senior lecturer in the discipline of sports management here at the School of Professional Studies. Who better to address the class of 2022 than a leader inside and outside of the classroom and someone who knows our community well? Len is an attorney and former professional basketball player who is a sports television announcer with a long career as a college basketball analyst for ESPN, CBS Sports, and Fox Sports. Len attended the University of Maryland, but we will not hold that against him, <laughs> where he was named an All-American on the basketball team, then went on to play for 10 years with the American Basketball Association and the National Basketball Association. He was the first NBA player to graduate from Harvard Law School, and he worked as a prosecutor here in New York in Kings County. He has served as of counsel and senior counsel with several noted law firms, as the principal in a sports management company, and as a private sector business leader. Len presently serves as a director on the public company board of 1-800-Flowers.com and as a commissioner on the Knight Commission for Intercollegiate Athletics, where he chairs the Racial Equity Task Force. In August 2020, Len was appointed to the Board of Advisors for the Shirley Povich Center at the Uni University of Maryland College Park Merrill School of Journalism. At the 2019 SPS graduation ceremony, Len was awarded the 2019 Dean's Excellence Award for faculty. Beloved by his students, he teaches a variety of courses including athlete activism and social justice in sports, leadership and personnel management in sports, as well as the program's supervised research project. And on a personal note, Len is always present. His voice and unwavering commitment to education and equity makes him a giant in my book, both literally and figuratively. Please join me in welcoming Len Elmore. Thank you, Zalan. I, um, <laughs> I don't know how to answer it, but I think I will in some way, shape, or form. Um, first, uh, allow me to, to recognize Dean Egg Eggers, uh, my distinguished faculty colleagues, parents, family, and um, friends. And to you out there, the 2022 graduates of the School of Professional Studies, with admiration I say, congratulations. Job well done. Now, I'm honored to, to have this opportunity in this capacity to speak to you today. And often, speeches like this, in times like this, will, after so many years, no longer be remembered. And that's one of the things I thought of in composing my message to you today. Ironically, I recall my graduation from Harvard Law School about 35 years ago, but I don't remember the speaker, nor do I remember the message. And that was my apprehension in addressing you today because I so sorely want this message that I will convey to you to be remembered because it's that important. First, take a moment and visualize today what you have overcome in reaching this point. Significantly, you have achieved this monumental milestone despite a worldwide pandemic that strangled the world in so many ways. Yet. You survived, and you conquered. For many of you, I've had the great honor of sharing in your learning process. You know, I've seen the growth and the illumination of inquisitive, industrious minds. For those with whom I've had direct contact in the classroom, it's been awe-inspiring to listen to you and to witness your emergence as future leaders, as future C-suite dwellers, as I like to call you. For those in other programs, I have no doubt that you display the same effort, interest, and passion in pursuit of your master's degree. Now, as we look forward, I'm confident that I'm correct in believing that notwithstanding whatever work you have lined up after this, regardless of the industry, you're anxiously asking yourselves, what's next? 
Now, no one can guarantee fame and fortune, but in my experience, my thus far seven decades of life, I can promise you that a life lived with the purpose to impose a positive impact on the lives of those you lead and those you serve through principle and ethics, through empathy and sensitivity, will be a life well lived. And considering the condition in which we find our world today, whatever lies ahead will demand a change for the better. And I say change as in how we govern ourselves as a nation and globally, how we treat each other as human beings individually and collectively, how we repair, preserve, and respect our environment, and how we raise our children and otherwise pass the baton to the next generation. All of this will depend on the type of leadership affected by you and others like you, who have earned and acquired the gifts and attendant responsibilities of knowledge and opportunity. Each year, through graduation to the next professional phase of their lives, students like you become professionals and the next keepers of the faith and examples of resilient skills of humanity. Again, my experience informs me of this reality. Each of you will have the chance at impact in your own way. Some will be more impactful, more recognized for their contributions than others. However, with commitment and effort, each of you can, each of you will have positive impact, if that's your objective. And it should be. Otherwise, why else were you here? Why else did you undergo the arduous experience of graduate school if not to learn more? And that results in contributing more. As the late great poet, novelist, and humanist Maya Angelou stated, when you learn, teach. When you get, give. And each of you will create that impact in various ways, none identical. The only common element that I can ask of you today, and it's a vital ask, is whatever you do, understand that central to that effort and to that impact must be truth. The English novelist Eric Blair, better known in his pen name as George Orwell, in the year 1949 wrote the novel 1984, warning of a dystopia which would result from totalitarianism. And although it isn't proven, he is attributed as presciently saying, in an age of deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. And truth is defined as act in actuality. In other words, truth is defined as what's real. And if we apply Orwell's statement today, an age where disinformation, misinformation, and deceit through lies, propaganda, and manipulation are all too dominant, your upcoming task, your crucible, and that of your peers and others in the next generation of leadership is to seek and disseminate truth and then live it. So I'm asking you to perform that revolutionary act. Seek and live the truth. Now, it's a daunting challenge, no question. A challenge that I'm almost ashamed to say that charged with guarding the truth, those of us before you have failed to prevail. But this battle is a continuum. And now, it's your turn. Finally, I'm going to leave you with these words to draw upon in your times of doubt as to whether you can make a difference. The great novelist, playwright, and human rights activist James Baldwin motivates with these words. Not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. If there's anything you must remember when you look back on this moment, those are the words. Remember, those words are about spreading truth and about facing the need and the challenge to bring about change for the better. So, to answer the question, what's next, I challenge you with your newly earned degrees, your educational authority, and your preparation for the leadership in this world you inherit. In fact, I urge you 
face the need for truth, a world of fairness, of equity, and of survival for all humankind depends upon it. Now go out there and get it done. Thank you. So you heard it first, class of 2022. Now go out there and get it done, period. <laughs> Thank you, Len, for those thoughtful words. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce you to our student speaker. Each year, students from across all our master's programs apply for the opportunity to speak to their graduating class, and a standout candidate is selected. I am proud to introduce this morning's speaker, Jennifer Bloodsworth, 2022 candidate for the Master of Professional Studies in Wealth Management. <laughs> Jennifer is a proud member of the inaugural cohort of Columbia University's Master of Professional Studies in Wealth Management. During her time at Columbia, she served as the Student Government Wealth Management Representative the treasurer of the Women in Wealth Management Club, and as a member of the Wealth Man Management Association. Along with the rest of her cohort, she helped fund the Wealth Management Advancing Diversity Fellowship, which is the first student funding fellowship offered at the School of Professional Studies. She has worked in financial services for eight years and currently serves as a national account manager for First Eagle Investments. Jennifer would like to thank her husband, her parents, and extended family who have been instrumental in helping her achieve her dreams. Class of 2022, please join me in welcoming Jennifer Bloodsworth. You guys, we did it! We did it, and I am not just talking to the folks in the blue caps and gowns here today. I mean everyone, we did it. Family, friends, loved ones, professors, administrators, staff. If you are here today, your support, efforts, and sacrifice, both seen and unseen, made this possible. So on behalf of everyone wearing a cap and gown today, we say thank you. So I want to share a secret with you about myself that not a lot of people know. I'm actually quite shy, especially around strangers. And now this is problematic because I work in sales where I have to speak to strangers constantly. But a piece of advice that someone gave me that was really helpful is that strangers are actually old friends, that future old friends that you're just meeting for the first time. So hello to all of my future old friends. For my fellow graduates, I feel like there's so much that I know about you already just from the experience that I had with my own cohort. I know what an achievement it is to be standing here today. And I know that you did it while juggling work, family, and other big life events like new jobs or even careers. Um, moving to new homes or even new countries, getting married, having children. Perhaps you're like Kara France said in my, cult, in my cohort, who you know, gave birth to those children two hours before hopping on a Zoom for a class project. As one does, I suppose. Also, I know that some of us has, have lost, lost loved ones, and we hold them with us here today in our hearts. Today's graduates came together during a time of social distancing, and it is the coming together that, for me, made my time at Columbia truly remarkable. I was fortunate enough to meet some of you through a number of clubs and activities, as well as being a part of the very first cohort in the school's brand new wealth management program. My cohort started out as 17 strangers spread out across different continents, but we quickly adopted the mantra of no cohort member left behind. 
And I only have about 90 seconds left in my allotted time, so I can't tell you all of the ways that we lived no cohort member left behind, but the too long, didn't read version is that it was magical. And because of this, when I look back to when we first started the program, I can tell you that we were truly 17 future old friends just meeting for the first time. And I hope that all of today's graduates had a similar experience. As I wrap up, I have three asks for everyone here today. So, as I mentioned, I'm in sales, so basically I'm contractually obligated to make an ask whenever I speak. The first one is on an individual level. I know that right now financial markets can feel particularly unpredictable and scary. If, you, if any of you would like help planning for your future, your finances, your hopes, and your dreams, <laughs> finding a great financial advisor can change not just your life, but the life of your families. I will also mention that there are currently only 17 people in the entire world with a master's of professional studies in wealth management from Columbia University. They're all here today, they would love to speak with you, I'm just saying, okay. The second ask is on a program or industry level. I'm very proud to say that every single member of my cohort contributed to the Wealth Management Advancing Diversity Fellowship, which is the first student-funded fellowship in SPS history. We did it because we felt like there is a lot of talk in our industry about advancing diversity, but we wanted to actually do something about it. I would encourage everyone here to take a look at their industry and find a way to make a positive impact. And the last is on a collegiate level. The School of Professional Studies is one of Columbia's youngest schools, so in order to ensure that it continues to grow and strengthen, and now that we are all future old friends, I am asking all of us to adopt the mantra of no SPS member, past, present, or future, left behind. I look forward to seeing everyone homecoming weekend, which is October 22nd when we take on Dartmouth. I think that Sean and Jason from my cohort are organizing a tailgate, and everyone here is invited. Go Lions, and thank you. Terrific. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Senior Vice Dean Steve Cohen, and we're now going to begin the presentation of the candidates. Degree candidates from each program will be recognized. Candidates for a Columbia University Master of Science degree this morning represent six academic programs. Applied Analytics. Construction Administration. Human Capital Management. Negotiation and Conflict Resolution. Sports Management. And Technology Management. Candidates for a Columbia University Master of Professional Studies degree include two new academic programs, insurance management and wealth management. The candidates from all of these master's programs have demonstrated a tremendous amount of commitment and brain power to get here today. And we're so proud to honor them on this wonderful occasion, this rite of passage. And now I invite my friend and colleague, Dr. Eric Nelson, Senior Associate Dean of Academic Affairs, to welcome this morning's graduates to the stage. Thank you, Dean Ken. Candidates for a Columbia University Master of Science degree this morning represent, oh, excuse me, I'm picking up where you left off there. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Applied Analytics please proceed to the stage? We would like to welcome the program director, Dr. Kitty K. Chan, to congratulate the graduates.
Kate Yi Wang. Blanca Schock. <coughs> Elif Korkmaz. Devin Harrison. Ebony Richardson. Nikolai Knight. Joseph Lovell. Zhe Zhang. <coughs> K. Yu Chen, Yu Jia Chen, Ye Kyung Li, Fang Ming Shen, Christina Kamaj, Ya Fei Wen, Zhe Fan Lan, Jelani Williamson. Natalia Gracia, Anna Ustin, Hai Tao Zhu, Ya Nan Jing, Hong Xu Wang, Yun Han Dong, Xin Yan Wang, Huan Wang, Yue Ming Hong, Zhao Yi Lu, Xiao Yuan Yu, Sam Yi So, Xiao Huang, Miao Yen Zhou, Ling Ye Song, Rui Mi Chen, Do Do Liu, Chen Mei Liu, Xiao Lin Sun, Shu Zhen Yu, Zhe Kun Yuan, Kako Kyoda. Yi Dai, Shiana Li, Lu Yun Lin, Yi Ching Lu, Rong Ji Zhou, Xiao Hang Wen, Shi Xin Xie, Vincent Xu, Laura Jean Holmgren, Yo Yo Fang, Yu Hung Zhou, <laughs> Wei Luan Luo, Dou Dou Guo, Ming Juan Wu, Wan Xian Ni, Man Ching Peng, Selena <laughs> Bai, <laughs> Xiao Wei Zhang, Bi Jun Li, Tian Hang Tsai, William Fitzgerald, Alexandra Wexler, Anushka Kedrival, Jia Chi Liu, Ying Ju. Yi Shren Shu, Xin Yi Liang, Jia Yi Wang, Xin Yuan Zhang, Ming Qi, Sohail Karara. Shika Daima Vidish Vedala Chodri Walid Tahabi Shun Ju Jia Shin Tan Suheri Lopez Chi Xiang Ling Huang Ji Xu, Zhe Hua Rong, Zhe Yi Wang, Zhen Yi Zheng, Mei Shi Ong, Yo Ran Wu,
Devon Anil Anirud, Yu Chi Du, Wen Xiong Zhou, <coughs> Chu Xuan Zhang, Chloe Shu Chi Wang. Yu Zhu Zhang, Ya Xing Hu, Nuo Chen, Shi Yu Hua. Wei Yi Xia, Bing Li, Ye Yi Ma, Ye Zi Li, Yi Ling Zhang, Mi Yang Zhang. Jenny Kim Kim, <coughs> Hong Gyu Ju, Daisy Wen, Dong Min Kim, Jin An, Jing Yu Zhang, Yu Zhe Zhang, Zhao Chen Ding, Jonah Shaver. Fernando Libertella, Stefan Dumalanta, Joshua Rasai, Alexander Lee, Na Wei Zhang, Jin Yi Duan, Jia Xing Li, <coughs> Tran Min Yu Lei, Chiu Ye Xu, Si Ming He. Danny Tian, Yu Zhe Sun, Yu Meng Ma, Fan Wang, Hao Dong Xuan, Bin Lun Feng, Jun Jie Zhang, Jia Yu Wang, Lillian Jie Li. Hui Xuan Wang, <coughs> Zi Yang Zhang, Zi Ming Zhao, Tian Xiao Deng, Hai Wan Zhou, Yi Heng Wang, Samantha Namath, <coughs> Chen Yu Wu. De Hua Di, Jia Lin Jiang, Yan Yan Chen, Li Yan, Yue Tong Zhou, Se Yu Zhou, Yun Feng Dai, Catherine Hui, Jie Luo, Zi Han Zhou, Heng Li Ju, Jing Hua He, Hui Zhang, Moon Ho Marcus Loki, Elias Shaheen, Arushi Mishra, Theo Silitonga, Sagar Desai. Xiang Ju Lin, Zi Xuan Wang, Chen Yue Xie, Wang Ting Xiao, Yue Yang, <coughs> Zhen Hua Chen, Ran Li, 
Yue Qi Fang, Yan Wang, Zhi Chun Tam, Vicky Vaswani, Kayleen Fan, Devin Clementi. Ying Fang Chen, Madeline Tremblay, Ji Su Back, Jin Kong, Yuan Yuan Gao, Jia Rong Zhang, Supachok Si Sokajorn, Shu Yue Li. Tal Rosenblum, Jacob Silber, Yuan Chi Li, Chi Hun Li, Chi Jung Tu, Xin Yu Xie, Zane Merchant, Anisa Awida Brown, Kaya Heck. Chu Chiao Sun, Yi Bo Ge, Alia Al Sheikh, Omar Nesnas, Maya Bedam, Katya Rash, Yu Yi Xia. Tian Lan, Zhe Xin Chen, <clears throat> Meng Han Qin, Hui Jie Fu, Yao Lin Yang, Yi Chen Wu, Alexandra Yela, <laughs> Haley Digiani, Victoria Murga. Wu Shuang Li, Ina Logunov, Sohail Gitiforuz, Sanjay Cantu, Yi Jun Shao, Brian Breslin, Saori Sambamatsu, Vardarajan Suresh. Vanessa Majithia, Bo Yang Xu, Ting Guo, Qin Yang Du, Nicole Gotret Mario, Hadley Sargent, Hunter Bowen, Moritina Carbo, Qi Fen Liu. Meng Shi Tian, Cynthia Constant, Bo Yu Feng, Chan Hung Lim, Tao Zhang, Amina Abid, Anna Calderon. Javier Morales, Jia Peng Ding, Ariel Brandt, Clara Fong, <laughs> Jessica Huber, hey, congratulations, Stephen Davis, Christian Wee Luyo. Rui Han Wang, Bo Yuan Sun, Blanca Shock, Zhi Xuan Wang, Xu Ming Chen, Janet Lin, Serena Li. <coughs> Bing Ling Xu, Jun Yu Zhang, 
Meng Duo Yang, Hong Ji Li, Chen Rara Widi, Romauli Butar Butar. Construction. Thank you. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Construction Administration please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, John Parkinson, to congratulate the graduates. Lucinda Raw. Double Limbachia. Justin Connaughton. Sophie Martorell. <clears throat> Ashley Simon. Azmat Allah. Palida Jiratiti Charoen. Mohammed Shwiki. Jamila Thompson. Paula Ramirez. Santia Valerio. Gladys Garcia. Yuan Ching Su. Jia Chi Yu. Bogdan Gechka. Azade Sarjugian. Bradley Small. Asad Sajid. Mariam Basishvili. Mir Amjad A. Khan. Marlon Brooks. Angela Gutierrez Castillo. Elif Korkmaz. Devin Harrison. Ebony Richardson. Nikolai Knight. Joseph Lovell. How are you doing? Well, they didn't give me the thing. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Human Capital Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the Program Director, Dr. Steven Sapier, to congratulate the graduates. Caroline Rakuya. Monty Smith. Jordan Strong. James Niblick. Stephanie Garzone. Audrey Allen. George Yash. Bryce Young. <coughs> Chang Yup Choi. Evelyn Ortiz. Amber Thomas. Robin Lawton. Maria Guglielmo. Ali Sheikh. Wen Ling Ao. Elias Sambrano. Tian Chun He. Brian Dalbert. Talia Charles. Kai Hamilton. Diana Rodriguez Lugo. Courtney Sin. Jonathan Mason. 
Star Ah. Julia McGeorge. TJ Bonner. Vicky Polanco. Dorothy McGee. Paulina Karashinska. Humera Mehdi. Meredith Wingate. Daklea Fidlow. Elizabeth Kerr. Kavita Persaud. Hannah Mason. Mohammed Dadisatio. Mika Halpin Hassana. Veronika Sterbova. Naomi Hyla. Nanette Dande. Caitlin Dowling. Anna Fonseca. Omar Hakani. Inigo Abigail Gustiandi. Shafali Gutam. Neha Desai. Fan Duan. Daniela Fernanda Fernandez Cáceres. Yen Yen. Yu Chuang. Tiffany Tso. Alok Bari. Anam Patel. Will the candidates for the Master of Professional Studies degree in Insurance Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Teresa Chan, to congratulate the graduates. Christopher McKeon. Monica Chu. Ann Satovich. Samara Freemark. Matthew Fisher, Robert Simmons, Christopher O'Connor, Todd Shapersky, Michael Doherty, Omar Jamai, Javier Navarro, Jonathan Anderson. Bradford Barger. Carl Sussman. Now I invite my esteemed colleague Louise Rosen, Senior Associate Dean of Administrative Affairs and Communications, to welcome graduates to the stage. Thank you, Dean Nelson. Will the candidates for the Masters of Science in Negotiation and Conflict Resolution please come to the stage? And I invite the program director, Dr. Beth Fishi Oshida, to welcome the graduates. Sean Monroe. Gabriella Hutchings. Pallavi Adapa. Amelie Aidi. Sammy Saloom. Mary Grace Jarrett. 
Nelly Sudri. Chen Ying Ho. Aaron Heald. Karin Ovalis. Bruce Higa Tahara. Caroline M. Lukashevsky. Tanisha Jacobs. Joella R. Charles. Nia Cornegi. Ruth Zupish. Jian Chiang Wu. Maria Kanjida Kreitz. James Anderson. Hamad Adulea. Danielle Medina. Akima Duff. Marta Colon. Yin Yu. Chi Pui Young. Rebecca Mandelbaum. Natisha Rosado. Yuan Han He. Jo Yan Han. Yang Zi Xie. Tia Patrick. Michael Willis. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Sports Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome Program Director Scott Rosner to congratulate the graduates. Erica Caitlin D. Marcela Galvez. Chutayu Rahimainita. Nira Hayden. Kayla Evans. Riley Parker. Cameron Morris. Nathaniel Robinson. Benjamin Walsh. Alexander Chin. Sangha Lee. Rodrigo Sarate. <clears throat> Sebastian Turner. Simone Botter. Attilio Crimi Veroli. Connor Fury. Nicole Yi. Connor O'Neill. Jenna Smith. Niari Galvez. Taylor DiBernardo. Noah Rousseau. Vincarlo Wynn. Julius Everkey. David Lauk. 
Daniel Frankel. Nima Javadzada. Eric Maestrich. George Drysdale. Gabriel Wecht. William McConnell. Charles Graham. Megan Griziak. Emma Bedeker. Kyle Van Fechtman. Carlos Carrera Hidalgo. Catherine Taylor. Andrew Moss. Morgan Chall. Jamie DePaul. Grant Mahler. Joshua Moorer. Carolyn Suna. Daniel Bunsen. James Goodman. Emilio Galati. Zahab Kazi. Jonathan Kolodny. Max Brown. Francois Bricard. Bill Wang. Sean Sam. Sean Kilcoin. <laughs> Kellen Toole. <laughs> Alexandria Turner. Aliyah Funchell. Michael Kahn. Derek Lowen. Tyler Schwartz. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Technology Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Art Langer, to congratulate the graduates. Darissa Zahara. Corbin Weatherspoon. Leelena Aspa. Jonathan Deutsch. Mendel Lazarus. George Eric Munua. Malcolm Danmola. Isabella Linz. Brianna Barnett. Liam O'Mara. Liam Massergen. Daniel Ishag. Vinayak Grover. Marin Smehagen. Jamie Kaplan. Nadine Laubmann. Lauren DiDonato. Sri Ramya Enamandram. Tazkia Jiniputri. 
Bhavana Piniseti, Aslan Biek Jakupov, Rio Bagas Wahudiono, Abiman Reddy Yeruva, Elizabeth Yu, Alenda Wandu, Renee Mock. Anna Short, Sonali Topper, Sandra Romo, Nassam Estibil, Pedro Arnaboldi, Amado Ortiz, Federica Perez Vogeler, Margarita Faki Name, Min Tran, Natalia Ibarguan Masses, Paul Kim, Aaron Lam, Catalina Laverde Duarte. Hima Nanapaneni, Tasmia Zahid, Rudy Rodriguez, Faria Kalam, Yi Jia Huang, Wen Lan She, Alma Condili. Han Wen Ko, Jenny Yoon, Ronak Patak, Papama Bixa, David Makoso, Henry Luja. Robert Kleiman, Isaac Linson, Peter Grunland, Mary Catherine Wallace, Irham Faturahman, Simon Mack, Rennie Jang. Felicia Obam, Megan Sacco, Elizabeth Owen, Raymond Corchado, Matthew Ostrander, Pankaj Nagpal, Albert Comas. James Baco, Nilam Kumar Patel, Srinivas Panigandlapati, Edward Stanley, Jaime Sotomayor, Kelso Yamaguchi, Manuel Casas. Suji Kim, Keisha Sharif, Dina Ramkaran, Ryan Franklin, Jotarmai Ponapali, Binish Urshad. Anuj Tiagi, Luke Tagaris, Lamaka Opa, Nicholas Mistretta, Anurag Chokse, 
Amr Abu Layla. Lowell Recall Call. Henry Sosa. Milka Meyer. Aparna Jen. Ryan Kerr. Deepak Mutana. Michael DeVito. Robert Kaith III. Aurelian Georgescu. Yanan Liu. Samantha Medina. Jordan Zanzuri. Daniel Marcus. Michael Carter. Pinaki Biswas. Pritesh Shionarayan Ginare. Brett Payton. Adiola McCalman. Gyandeep Momi. Ankit Sisodia. Chetan Malhotra. Michael Wexler. Will the candidates for the Master of Professional Studies degree in Wealth Management please proceed to the stage? We would also well like to welcome the Program Director, Tracy Schwartz, to congratulate the graduates. Jason Papier. <clears throat> Samuel Wright. Jacob Brandenburg. Jahad Martin. Susan Gerbeck. Sheena Ola Atoro. Lisa Patton. Deirdre Smith. Drew Hanessian. Philippe Delvaux. Anissa La Rochelle, Miles Sharp, Kara Franstead, Jennifer Bloodsworth, Craig Lyman, Congratulations to the class of 2022. I am so honored to be here this morning. I am Sonal Pandey, and I have recently started at SPS as your Associate Dean of Alumni Relations and Development. I am so excited to welcome you, our newest Minter graduates of the School of Professional Studies, to the wide network of the Columbia alumni community. Your time at Columbia might have felt short, but as alumni, you will be part of Columbia for life. As a Columbia alumna myself, I can tell you that this is true. I want to encourage you to lean on the university throughout your careers and let us play a role in the great successes that lie ahead. I can't wait to see where you all go next. 
We will be here to support you every step of the way. Congratulations, you did it! All family and friends, this concludes our ceremony. Please make your way out of the tent to meet up with your Columbia University grad. Will the graduates, faculty, and officers of administration please rise for the academic recessional.